Welcome back to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Welcome back, everyone. We're joined by Eric Winther from the Pike Mental Reward Program, just giving you some basic information on how you can become part of it. Now, I've already mentioned this, but, well, maybe I didn't. It's on the main stem of the Columbia River. It goes all the way up, doesn't it? Up to Priest Rapids Dam, okay. and then on the Snake River also from the mouth up to Hell's Canyon Dam. Okay, so the Snake River is also part of it. Yep. All right, so it's not necessarily only, but if you're over there on that east side, you have multiple opportunities to target these pike minnow. Uh, and again, uh, help salmon and steelhead get out, right? There's a lot. I mean, geez, we could talk about so many different predators that are out there. Uh, birds are the ones that scares me the most, mainly because they're not being controlled, but the pike minnow are, and that's why it's a 33-year, 34-year success story. I mean, this is certainly something that you can hang your hat on. You guys have done a fantastic job. It's, it's been quite an adventure, that's for sure. It's it can't cool. be easy, though. The logistics of this has to be pretty darn difficult. It's a challenge. Yeah. I mean... I love it, but it's a challenge. Sure. And just distri distri distribution of so many people and so much money, that's got to be difficult as well. <laughs> well, I have, a, I have a really good team, and that's what keeps me sane, lets us, lets us kind of run the whole program in such sure. a good way over the, all these years. Well, it's, a, it's certainly something that you can get into and have some fun with. They're going to show you the website uh, here as well, where there's tons of information, locations, different ways to target them. Uh, different, this is always comes up. What's the best bait? for uh, pike minnow? Well, the most popular bait's just fresh uh, or uh, chicken liver like you'd buy at Safeway. Okay. But is that the best bait? I don't know. I kind of like the, uh, what they call fish guts. Okay. The heart, the bloodline, the, the uh, uh, um, sperm sack out of mm -hmm. fresh salmon or steelhead. Okay. And then later in the year, you use those Mormon crickets. It's, it's oh. crazy, but those are an awesome bait. All right, interesting. Yeah. Uh, and, and raw salmon eggs as, as well. I don't, if, That's you know, my if, favorite, yeah. If raw. you can come across those in some uncured, just raw salmon eggs, uh, very, very good. But don't overlook gitsits and don't overlook lipless crankbaits. Don't ask me how I know. That used to be my favorite <laughs> way uh, to go after. Now, along with the regular fish that are out there, of course, you guys actually uh, catch some and then tag, tag them. Uh, tell everybody what that actually is. So basically, uh, since this is a cooperative program between Washington Fish and Wildlife and Oregon Fish and Wildlife, mm -hmm. the way we do uh, the biological evaluation of the program is Oregon Fish and Wildlife tags a bunch of these fish. Based on the tags we recover, we can estimate the exploitation rate. Okay. We're trying to get 10 to 20%, so that's how we know if we do that gotcha. by those tag recoveries. Uh, so this, is, this has been a really good year so far. Oregon's put out... Uh, oh, just over, I think, 600 tags already this year. Wow. Um, which is way, way better than what they did last year. And, mm -hmm. and generally, uh, that's a pretty good year. And they're still going. So gotcha. So bunch of, bunch of uh, opportunity to make extra money on a tag fish. Uh, those are worth 200 bucks instead wow. of the... Is it something rate. that you can see on the fish? Does it have like a, a well? These a are the internal or? pit tags. Okay. Uh, so they're kind of under the skin. There all are also some external tags, mm -hmm. um, which are worth five hundred bucks. So if you get oh, one wow. of those, uh, makes for a really good day. Yeah, and also <laughs> kind of gives you that. I don't know what I got here as they're going through all your fish when you're checking them in. You just got a winner, right? I mean, is that a safe assumption there? Yeah. I mean, it technically has to be verified, but yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool. It is. I mean, I'm, I've been told that uh, if you have a net man and, and they uh, kind of knock it off at the boat, it's a long swim back. I would not even want that. Takes, <laughs> that makes me think of like uh, uh, Wicked Tuna, right? You know, when they lose oh, yeah, the $10,000. Yeah. I mean, obviously yeah. it's not a 10 But hey, if you may have had a $500 pike minnow on there, for crying out loud, and your buddy knocked it off, Robert, if you're out there. <laughs> uh, okay, so last question. Last year's number one participant made how much? Uh, 107 grand and change. 107,000 and change in how and it, Five for, months. For five May months. May through September. That's our season. Right. So that's not bad for fishing. Last thing that we can cover before we part ways here uh, for folks to know, is there anything you want to make sure that they're aware of? Well, we got we got the uh, Pike Minnow app, which allows you to register using your smartphone. And once you get those, uh, we do know we've had a few glitches this year, but mm -hmm. but there's a place on there on the uh, main menu that says Angler Feedback. Mm -hmm. Just jot down a sentence or two about what's going on. That really helps our tech guys get address those and get it fixed quicker. Okay. But the beauty of that, if you use the phone app, it allows you more time with line in the water, which usually equals more fish, right? Sure, right. 
So that's the beauty of it. Instead of going to a location, signing up on paper, and then coming right. back. Yeah. So it just gives you more flexibility then? It does, yes. All right. So certainly something to look into. And all that information is on their on their website. It, go to their Facebook page. You can learn a ton of different information there. Uh, you can also even ask some questions. But I'm going to tell you this. When you're talking about making money, people are going to be pretty darn tight-lipped. Utilize their, their website. Get the information that's there and figure out what works best for you. Bates, timing, location, all those things are hugely important. And throughout uh, their season, through September, we'll be showing you the locations of where they're having the most success, which is going to help you target different areas of the Columbia uh, to hopefully make yourself some more money in this Pike Mental Reward Program. So, hey, thanks for coming in and sharing some info. Sure, Owen. It's good thanks to see for you. having me. Yep. And we got to go fishing this year. This year. Every this year we year. threaten to go out and take a camera guy. I mean, literally, you put a camera guy in my boat, it's over. You might as well just put the rods away and go for a boat ride, right? But when we're going after pike minnow, hopefully we can make a little money at the same I'm time. I'm hoping. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. We're going to cut to a break. When we come back, we're going to have Austin Mosier from Austin's Northwest Adventures. There he is! He's actually live out there on the Columbia chasing some oversized sturgeon. And uh, I bet you some of the fish he's catching, way more than he does. We'll be back with Austin in just a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Outdoor GPS is brought to you by Yakima Bait, steeped in tradition, innovation, and fishing success. And by Procure Bait Sense, ruthlessly effective.